friends, Mrs. Homily here. Good to see all of you. Welcome to Classroom Guidance. I miss you all and hope that you're doing okay. See, um, we're going to take a little bit different approach with Classroom Guidance this week. Um, we're going to be making a craft in preparation for May Day. May Day is May 1st. And so um, our lesson for this week is um, to make a May basket so that on May 1st, you can join a tradition that's been happening for many, many years. So May Day, um, it actually dates back to um, um, hundreds of years ago, Romans had a festival of flowers, so people from Rome. And in other parts of Europe, they would do things like dance around the Maypole, um, and you know celebrate spring and other things too. And so when I was a little girl, we made May baskets. Um, and so what you do on May 1st is um, you take a basket that you've made with either real flowers or crafty flowers, put them in a basket. You know, this one has a handle on it. You would put this on a neighbor's doorknob, ring their door, and then run away to give them a nice special gift. And so um, if you'd like to choose to be a part of our May Day craft, um, one, make sure you get parent permission, and two, that you do this with parent supervision if you do deliver this to a neighbor or to a grandparent, that kind of thing, and make sure that you stay safe. So to make a May basket, um, I have four flowers in my May basket. You don't have to have that many and it doesn't have to look like this, but I just made a, a, mass, a, a basket out of paper um, in kind of a traditional cone shape. You could make a basket out of a yogurt container with a pipe cleaner, anything you want, um, or like, a, you know, like the plastic container that fruits come in from the grocery store. Feel free to look around the house and find things that you might otherwise throw away or recycle. In my basket, I've got one flower here made from a muffin paper. Um, I use some buttons. This one I made with scrapbooking paper and a button and pipe cleaner. This is a tissue paper flower. And then this one, this is actually what I remember from when I was a little girl. I would take the things that, the egg carton, and I would cut out a section, kind of make it look like a flower. And that's usually how my May baskets worked when I gave them to a neighbor. So, um, but feel free to be creative. There's lots of things on Pinterest. If you get parent permission, maybe you can look and find some crafty things or just be creative with how you want to make your flowers. On mine, I've also added a Happy May Day sign on mine. So I made mine today, but I'm not going to deliver it today. Again, I'm going to hang on to this until next Friday, May 1st, and I'll deliver it to a neighbor who, you know, who can maybe use a little pick-me-up or that kind of thing. And so um, if you choose to join us in our optional May Day basket um, creation, I would love to see a picture or um, a video of you telling me about your May basket and who you're going to give it to if you choose to participate, okay? Take care, everybody. Bye.